Hi, I'm John DeLuca with Diamond Head USA. We're here at SHOT Show 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and today we'd like to talk about some of our new products. Diamond Head has long been known for our sighting systems, and our Diamond Head integrated sighting system features both a front and rear housing and apertures that all match and create our unique and patented sighting system. New at SHOT Show 2014 is our polymer version of these sights. These sights are a pop-up version that feature all the same quality of our standard sights with the addition of photoluminescent inserts here and in the front. These photoluminescent inserts allow a glow-in-the-dark product without the exceptionally high cost of tritium. These uh, set of sights retail for $118 and are backed by the Diamond Head's lifetime warranty. Today I'm here to introduce Leapers UTG low profile flip up front and rear side. Now before we work on our firearm, always make sure the gun is unloaded, chamber is empty, let's insert a chamber safety flag. Well, as you can see on my competition rifle, I've been running a 1 to 8 power scope for a very long time, but it's always good to have a set of backup like this. Installation is very simple, for the front side, you want to find the longest sight radius possible. So in this case, you want to mount it all the way toward the muzzle end. Use included Allen key to gradually tighten down this Allen screw. Now, before you tighten it up, you want to push it all the way forward so it reduces any chance of movement during heavy recoil. Simple like that. To deploy the front side, simply flip it up and push the side button to press it back down. Using a standard 4.A2 front side tool, you can adjust the elevation. To install the rear side, as you can see, I have my scope in place, but I'm still able to install the rear side without any complication. Simply by slide this rear side forward and find the crack slot and tighten down the screws using included Allen key. Now before you completely tighten the screw, you want to push it all the way forward and finish up the rest. There you have it. Whenever I want to deploy my rear sight, all I need to do is remove the scope. Always good to have a set of QD. Now flip it up and press the side button to push it back down. On the rear side, we have windage adjustment. as well as two apertures for close range and long range engagement.